Like most of you guys, I spend a lot of time in the gym and whether that's in my home gym or at a commercial gym, the time mostly is spent in that. They have 10 hacks. This first one was posted on a garage gym community. By the way, I'm getting ready to, I'm working on another one of these for just general home gym hacks. So if you like this one, would like to see future ones, make sure you subscribe. But this first one, we're gonna take some magnet tape and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it out. We're gonna take our silver Sharpie and I'm gonna type or write squat. This way I always know where my J cup should be when I squat. Come on, take this, put it where your hole is. You can put it below or above. And then you always know where you're gonna use it for squat, for deadlift, for bench, for overhead press, those sorts of things. Okay, hack number two, you should use utility pins. The reason you should use utility pins is because you can use them for a lot of different things. First off, you can use them to store weight. But in addition to that, you can use them for movements, okay? Like pull-ups, watch this. Boom. In addition to pull-ups, you can use them for other body weight movements, like dips. Watch this. Beautiful. In addition to dips, pull-ups, weight plate holders, you can also use them for band pegs. This next one is great for athletic movements. If you have a utility seat or something similar that goes in the rack, you attach it on the outside of the rack, like this. Beautiful. You now have a wall that you can throw anything against. Yeah, it's gonna make noise, but it's gonna be a solid wall, unlike anything else in your gym. Take your med ball, that's right here, slam ball, and go to town. These are all great for warming up, other dynamic movements, easy way to use, use your utility seat or some other piece of equipment. This next one, I told you I like magnets. We're gonna do another magnet thing. All right, this is for storing. This is a 65 pound max force, 30 kilogram magnet, okay? These are pretty cheap. You can get this for under 10 bucks. They have cheaper ones with less weight that are less, and you can buy them on the internet for even less. So because your rack is all metal, if you wanna hang something on it, get a magnet, attach it. Boom, now you can hang things on it. What are you gonna hang? This is what you're gonna hang. You're gonna hang chains. So, this is a 45 pound chain. We're gonna test the limit of this bad boy. Boom, oh, it's my first time trying that. That is beautiful. What else are you gonna hang? I'll show you what you're gonna hang. You're gonna hang a belt. Beautiful. What else are you gonna hang? I'm gonna show you what you're gonna hang. You're gonna hang a band. Look at this. You can hang any bands, any belts, any attachments you have. You can even hang, looking for something to hang. Guns, not just any guns, pull-up guns. You're asking why I have these? Because I do, beautiful, okay? Under 10 bucks, holds 65 pounds, works extremely well. Use one of these on your rack, next. This next one, this is how to add a pulley system to your rack or to a machine or anything like that, okay? So, a previous video, which we just recently posted, is a DIY pulley system. This is it right here. You can check that video to see how it works. But all you do is you take this pulley system, come over here, pizza pies, and you attach it to your pin up top, okay? You then get it in place, and now you can use the cable pulley system for lat pull downs, low rows, tricep extensions, bicep curls, everything to build you big, bad muscles. Most of you guys will have pin pipe safeties. The reason you have pin pipe safeties is because they're cheap and it's what companies use. The problem with pin type pipe safeties is you got this metal piece. This metal piece is going to wear into the knurling on your barbell. You need at all costs to protect your barbell because if you're listening to Coop, you're buying nice barbells with nice knurling. Because if you're gonna spend money on a piece of equipment, that's the equipment to spend money on. Okay. 
So you have this pin pipe safety. It works like this. Slide it in here. Honestly, I'd suggest just upgrading to something else, but some of you can't. If you have a Rogar 3, for instance, which I used for like five years, you can't. So this is what I did, okay? You have this metal, you don't want to scar it up, you don't want to scar your bar up. This is what you do. Go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, and get you some of this piping, okay? This is two foot braided vinyl, okay? It's super thick, it just works really well. It's pre-cut, you can get them in different lengths if you like. It's not gonna slide over perfectly over the one you have because they're a pretty similar diameter. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to cut it down the middle. Like this. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna wrap it around your safety. Okay. Beautiful. I know what you're thinking. That is genius. I'm not a genius. I'm just taking genius ideas. So now you can put a barbell on there and it's fully protected. This is basically plastic for a pin, spin, pin spotter safety system. Honestly, I don't understand why companies don't sell something like this with it because you should not be dropping bars on these. You should not be doing rack pulls unless you really want to tear up your bar. You should be adding this. This is less than 10 bucks. You can add it to both sides of the rack, cut it to whatever length you want. It just works. Take care of your equipment. It'll take care of you. Next. All of you guys are using collars. You're using them on your barbells. The problem is most of you are probably just leaving them on the ground or you put them on the rack. They get in the way, so you're like putting them on here. But then when you want to use change plates, you're having to pull them off. You have them take it off. Here's the trick. Yes, magnets. Come over here. These are cheap earth magnets. There's two of them. You can buy these at Walmart, Home Depot. I bought them online. I've got a whole stack of them. I told you I like magnets. You can use any sort of adhesive that you like. You can use double-sided tape or anything like that. But what you want to do, I'm going to use liquid nails or actually super glue. You're going to put it on your spot right here. You're then going to glue it to it. It's that simple. Magnets on there. Then when you're done with it, you no longer are using it. You want to place it somewhere. Oh, I'm done using it. Beautiful. Stick it. Then when you want to use it on your bar, you can slide it on and actually it'll stick better to place. Oh, that's just beautiful. Get you some magnets attach them it works okay this next one is for you guys that like to match your rack to your purse i totally get it i do the same thing for the two coop squat you may not have realized but it's not a piece of metal it's a piece of foam board okay so this is how you make an arch logo this is really simple it's super cheap it just works okay so i took a piece of foam board i then cut out or printed out a logo I then cut it out. By the way, this is the same lettering or same font as Rogue, uh, just because I want it to look like it. Uh, we then cut it out and then on the back attached aluminum foil. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, when you get close, yeah, it doesn't look that beautiful, but when you're far away, pictures, whatever, it works, it's aesthetic, it's good enough. Let's be honest, this stuff is, it doesn't have any function anyways. It's just for looks, okay? So, all you do is you take some double-sided tape Beep, beep. Meep. Meep. and you attach it to the back. You then take it over to your rack. If you don't have an arch logo already, all you got to do is you just got to stick it to an upright or a cross member or whatever. I've got one here, but I want to cover it up. So I'm going to put this bad boy here. Boom. Just like that. You can make your very own coop squat. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, next. This next one, a lot of you guys are trying to increase your grip strength, your forearm strength. This is an easy, simple way to use your squat rack to do so. With a towel. So you take this towel, you throw it over a pull-up bar, a cross member, a tree, whatever you want. Since this is a squat rack DIY or hacks is how we'll do it. You attach it up top. You then grab it with your hands, do pull-ups like normal. Five hours later. Beautiful. I mean, look at these forearms. They're huge, veiny, massive. Next. Okay, this is the last one. If you got holes in your rack, you need to be using them. One of the easiest ways to use them is with 
some leg rollers. These are leg rollers. Many companies make these. You can get them for very cheap. You can get them for expensive, but you can use these in a lot of different ways. One way I'm gonna show you how to use them is one of my favorite ways, and this allows you to use a squat rack without taking up a ton of space, and this is make it into a back extension. So, take one of these, put it down below. I'll probably put that a little bit farther back there. Then take the other one and put it about hip height or so. I'm gonna remove this jammer arm so it's not away from me. Then you can take a plate, a ball, a dumbbell, whatever you'd like. I typically use a med ball or a slam ball. You now have a place where you can do back extensions. Hold this. Beautiful. Take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. So you're able to turn your squat rack into a hyper, a back extension machine without having to actually have a back extension machine in your home gym or somewhere else. Or if you're in a commercial gym and they have these, you don't have to, you know, go use another spot or something. Although you probably shouldn't do that in a squat rack because your gym probably doesn't have a lot of squat racks. So you should probably start a home gym. Okay, that's 10, 11 or so squat rack hacks. What do you think of them? Do you have any squat rack hacks? Let me know down below. I'll put links to some of these items so you can check them out in the bio. Thanks for watching. We're gonna do more of these. See you next time. Peace.